Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Us her wonderful testimony. Madam, tell us your name and your testimony. People of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My, name's, my name is Mrs. Mercy Onwara Ni Uliamaka. I am a staff of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Anambra State. Praise the Lord. My testimony goes like this. I was employed by INEC in the year I was employed by INEC in the year 1992 and I raised to the rank of senior administrative officer and mysteriously devil came into my career and my appointment was terminated unlawfully, mysteriously. All I could, I could, I was confused. It was the whole world had rejected me. Everything started working against me. I did all I could to see that my the case is reversed, but it proved abortive. Okay, madam, can you just explain to us what led to the termination of your appointment? What was the case all about and how big was the case? I came to the office on the 18th of January 2010 and I was called to receive a letter. And lo and behold, when I went to take the letter, it was a letter terminating my appointment after 18 years of service. And two days later, on the 20th of January, it was a newspaper publication that I was involved in registered fraud. This is the paper here. This is the paper. INEC, SAC 8, over an umbra registered fraud. Praise the Lord. And your name was among the eight people? My name is here, Uliamaka Messi. That's my name. So when this paper came up, the case was a national problem. It was a public issue. Everybody was calling me on phone, knowing that I'm a Christian. People were asking me, how come about your name being involved in this kind of mess? My sisters and brothers, it was an, a, like a nightmare to me. I never knew anything about register fraud. I was not involved in anything. It was just, I don't know what happened. So after a while, to reverse it was not easy. I consulted the counsel held by my lawyer. He went to the court. The case was in the court. I did all I could to get judgment. The judge held the case. I was in court for two and a half years. There was neither judgment nor anything given to me in respect of the matter. So by 2012, I was opportune to get a manual TV in my, in my cable. I started watching a manual TV and I saw what the Lord has been doing here through the man of God. Then the judge was equally transferred from Anambra State to Abiyokuta. Then my case worsened. It is a case that either I drop the matter or I start all over afresh. And there is no money or anything I could do to do because the poverty was so much. The humiliation was so much. I was rejected. I was rejected. So. I, I told my hu lovely husband that we should come to synagogue, that that is the only thing he can do for me in this matter. And he borrowed money, we came here. We were pursuing to meet the man of God and he gave us anointing water. I ministered anointing water, but I got to the hotel. And on Tuesday, that was the first service, first Saturday service, 27th October, 2012. When I got to Anambra State, on Tuesday, being 30th, on the First, the, the court clerk called me on phone and said, Madam, congratulations. The judge has sent your judgment. He typed it and signed it. It was in your favor. I say, wow, what a God will worship us in our church. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? So, Madam, you mean after ministering the anointing water and you went back to your state, you were called that the judgment has been released in your favor? Yes. And it, 
I, I came back on the 30th and on the first I was called that their judgment has been released in my favor. On the 8th of November, the presiding judge delivered the judgment and I have the copy. I was so happy, I said, what man of, what a, before this time, self, I have gone to more than 10 churches, seeking for prayers and deliverances and counseling in all, you know, everywhere, but not into, oh, no avail. Praise the Lord. So, I stayed, up to getting to a year. The thing was delaying again, I said, this is what God has done, and God, this is God's appeal, no, no, God's judgment, no appeal. And God was there for me. I could not even go for appeal or anything. They just kept the judgment there, but there was nothing that was done about it. I then kept ministering the anointing water and telling God that this is a work we have started. And God of prophecy will perfect what you have started in me. And in my dream, after ministering the anointing water, I saw the man of God. So I was lamenting to him, say, man of God, look at the judgment you gave to me. They have not respected me. They are still delaying me. I am suffering. To eat is a problem. To take care of my siblings is a problem. I, I mean, I, 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 my life was full of disaster. He said, I should not worry. That he has sent his men there to do it. And lo and behold, people of God. Within a short while, after the man of God said that he has sent his men, I was called. In short, uh, they brought the judgment from Ab the, the statement letter from Abuja and gave it to me. And as I'm rightly standing here, I am back to my service. I have, my career has been restored. I knew, I don't know how to, my joy knew no bounds, in short. Can we put our hands together for Jesus, the miracle worker? <laughs> Madam, can you just start again from your encounter with Prophet T.B. Joshua in the dream? After ministering the anointing water, in my dream I saw the Prophet T.B. Joshua in my dream. I went to him. He was sharing things. It was just like in a garden or in a church. I said, man of God, look, the judgment you gave to me when I came to synagogue, I make refused to reinstate me. He said, no, that I should not worry that he has sent his men there to do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together once again for Jesus? Wow. The case of our sister clearly shows that when God is involved in your matter, your case is settled. It does not matter what anybody does, your case is settled because Jesus Christ is a great advocate. We thank God Almighty for vindicating you and Madam, we know that God has done more in your life. Can you share with us? Praise the Lord. So, on that 27th October we came here, I received my judgment in the 8th of November, that same 2012. And on the 5th of January, my husband was given a car, Mercedes E-Class. Just like that, somebody that have just abandoned us, that no longer remember our relationship and whatever he did for him, called him, he went out and he was coming with this Mercedes. I asked him, where did you get this, this car? He said that he was just giving the key. I said, wow, what a God we worship as in our God. What a man, the prophet of our generation that God has given us in the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. It is awesome. Very, very awesome. I thank God for it. Wow. Give me the glory. Put your hands together once again for Jesus. <laughs> Madam, we thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life. We thank God that he has visited you. He has vindicated you and um, he has set you free from every captivity of Satan. And tell us with what God Almighty has done in your life, what can you say right now about the anointing water? Wow. What God has done in my life is marvelous. It is impossible to man, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. What I am advising my fellow sisters and brothers and viewers all over the world that are watching me right now, who have been, who are in this, my, my previous predicament, who eventually lost their career or whatever, is to encourage yourself in the Lord your God. As David said, that when his family was taken a captive, he encouraged himself in the Lord his God and said, God, can I put you after this trip? Shall I overcome? And he said, put you overtake, for you will surely recover all. This is God we are serving is a God of total recovery. As God had made it possible for me to recover my career, which was lost for four good years, 
The poverty was so much. All my colleagues abandoned me. Nobody wanted to set eyes on me. People were calling me on phone, asking me all sorts of questions. When I will say that I have, um, okay, now, I see I'm normal with the situation. Somebody will call you. Uh, we are you among the people that we are sacking in neck? And you have heard about it. And we tell you, I saw the newspaper. I mean, and the, the shame and the reproach will come up again. But I'm telling you today, if you are in this, my former predicament, run to Jesus. Come to synagogue and get this anointing water. It is atomic bomb. I call Prophet T.B. Joshua the prophet of our generation, just like the days of Elijah and Isaiah. Don't mind what people are saying anywhere. Believe in the Lord your God and believe in his prophet. And he will see you through, whatever the case may be. As have vindicated me and take away the reproach that was given to me by Satan. So shall it be unto each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow, madam, we thank God for what he has done in your life. Can you explain to us the two documents we are seeing there? Yes. This first one is termination of appointment, dated on the 11 January 2010. This is the court judgment that ordered INEC to reinstate me, pay me all my salaries and allowances and emoluments and promotions due. Praise the Lord. Now, this is the letter dated 25th November 2013. Letter of reinstatement stroke redeployment. I was reinstated and equally I was redeployed back to Anambra State where I started my service. And this is the newspaper publication of 20th January 2010. INEC sack, sacks eight over Anambra register fraud. And the last in the list was Uliamaka Messi, which is my name. Wow, we thank God for what God has done in your life. So, madam, you're telling us that God Almighty restored your career after four years. Yes. Yes. After four years of being nothing. God restored me back to my dignity and to my career. And my virtue and everything is being restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, madam, we, we rejoice with you. We thank God for what he has done in your life. I want to advise you that as God Almighty has visited you, as he has vindicated you, as he has blessed you, that you should go and live your life for Christ so that this blessing will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame qui nous vient d'un des états du Nigeria. C'est une fonctionnaire de police et elle était officier supérieur d'administration dans son travail. En temps, elle a été accusée injustement d'une fraude administrative. L'histoire était devenue une affaire d'État et son nom était même cité dans tous les journaux. Elle a été suspendue de son travail. Pendant quatre ans, elle faisait face à la stagnation. Il n'y avait pas de travail. Elle faisait face à une pauvreté accrue. Finalement, le cas se retrouva au tribunal par la grâce de Dieu. Elle arriva à la synagogue l'église de toutes les nations et eu l'opportunité de recevoir l'audition qu'elle appliqua en demandant l'assistance du Seigneur. La même nuit a eu rêve dans lequel elle vit le prophète Tibi Joshua qui lui dit de ne pas avoir peur car Dieu est au contrôle de toutes choses et que Dieu est impliqué dans son affaire. Elle reçut après un appel où on lui annonçait qu'elle a gagné le procès et que le juge a demandé à ce qu'on lui rende son salaire qui avait été bloqué pendant toutes ces années ainsi que tous ses avancements euh, dont on lui avait privé. Aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu car elle a été totalement restaurée. Elle a retrouvé son travail. Son, ami, son mari s'est vu, vu offrir une voiture juste gratuitement comme ça. Elle est ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu à travers ce que le Seigneur a eu à accomplir dans sa vie, à travers l'eau d'onction. www.goan.org Go to the visitors page. 
and for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click Send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bird of son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ, to empower his followers to change the world today. Destiny.